All right, today on Taylor Time, we're talking about the breaking news put out by the CDC concerning deadly superbugs. For the very first time, the CDC is ranking drug resistant superbugs by their threat level. Here to tell us why and how we can all protect ourselves and our families is Dr. Marcy Bothwell. Thank you for coming back to Prime Time. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Uh, this, this is important. This is the first time the CDC has ever done this. They are classifying it in three levels urgent, meaning these are um, superbugs that we don't have antibiotics for. So if you get these, you may not survive. In fact, two million people are getting these superbugs this year. Is antibiotic or antiviral? Antibiotic. And we'll, okay. we'll talk about the difference because that's okay. one of the important things that um, you have to understand is the difference between bacteria and viruses mm -hmm. because we over treat too much. And we're having you know, 200,000 deaths a year because of these superbugs and we just don't have any antibiotics to treat them. And then there's a whole nother list of 14 that are on the serious list and then there's concerning. I mean, they're putting warning labels out on these bacteria, mm -hmm. okay? Two of them, well, the people who are most susceptible to them are the people who are like our older folks chronically, they're in the nursing homes, things they like that. They have a compromised immune system. Right, but it's also your people with rheumatoid arthritis, people who are on steroids, uh, organ transplants, bone marrow transplants, end stage renal, anybody who's getting dialysis. Right. But I have actually personally seen it hit somebody who was absolutely completely healthy and get one of these bugs and we just have nothing to do for them. And so it's really, really important that everybody get on board about what, what to do and when to treat. These end, and don't these you things. think it's equally as important too to keep your immune system strong, get lots of sleep, eat healthy, uh, get exercise? Because I feel like once you have a compromised immune system, once you just let get run down, just really you're more susceptible to these. No, super you are absolutely right. You know the exercise. In fact, they have they've just come out. The CDC came out and said exercise is going to be the magic drug because everybody is always searching for that magic pill to make everything better, and we don't have it. But we do, it's called exercise, diet. Mm -hmm. Diet's and huge. Diet too. is absolutely huge. Oh, okay, so what else? Well, I wanna to talk to you about, one of the things that they wanna talk about is we are over-treating. Yeah. Okay? A bacteria and a virus are not the same thing. Everybody thinks they're the same thing. You know, an apple is an apple is an apple, and we just treat everything the same way. They are completely different. It's as different as they both cause infection. They're two different fruits, and they completely are two different things. And the difference is you get antibiotic for a virus, and it's not going to do anything. It just builds up your resistance to antibiotics in the future. It's not going to do a darn yeah. thing. In fact, what you're going to do is you're going to pay for the antibiotic, mm -hmm. which is not cheap, 100, 150 bucks, and then you're going to pay again with the diarrhea and the rashes. <laughs> And do you know that one out of five emergency room visits are for an antibiotic complication? I did not know that. That's crazy. Yeah, but it doesn't surprise me, Marcy, because you go to the doctors. Now, thankfully, I go to a pediatrician mm -hmm. who is like, no, your kid has a virus. It's got to run its course. Make sure you build up the immune mm -hmm. system, lots of rest, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. She will not issue antibiotics unless she does cultures and she can prove that it is indeed a bacterial infection. Where some doctors and people mm -hmm. will find antibiotics, will find mm -hmm. whether they go down to Mexico or whatever else, and they'll treat themselves. They, they, they think everything is a bacterial infection. They ha they're not doctors. It's crazy. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be a doctor. Wait 24 to 48 hours and see if you don't get a little bit better. Wash your nose with saline. Yep. Wash your hands. I mean, it is so important because we're having um, hundreds of thousands of people now die, die every year because of these antibiotic resistance. Mm -hmm. And if you get one of those bugs, and you're not going to survive it. It's, it's, it's very important that we get this on the rise. So what the CDC is recommending is that we all contribute to the problem. We all stay informed, get our vaccinations that we talked about. Mm -hmm. We have to wash our hands before eating and after using the restroom. We have to wash our hands about the uncooked meat. Now, I know I think you did a spot on chicken and washing it and yeah. the splatter. Just don't splatter it. Still wash the chicken. Oh, uh, yeah. Scrub your whole kitchen down with stuff like I do after you. <laughs> and you know what? I taught my kids when they were little, and I even went into their classrooms, and I mm -hmm. made up this little song. 
don't cough in your hands or touch your face because you spread your germs all over the place. <laughs> So I think, because little kids have their fingers in their nose and in their eyes and they touch everything. And kids, you go into a little kid classroom and the poor teacher, every kid is coughing. These days, parents are sending their kids to school because school has become daycare for the parents. It makes me so mad. So I go in there and I have the parent, all the other students, sneeze in your hand. Because if Good. you sneeze or cough in your hand, that part of your arm is not going to touch anything else. That's exactly right. You're not right. going to spread your germs. That's exactly Do right. Not Spread the love. The germs are not love. <laughs> Anyhow, and I like the saline. That's one of my favorite things. And I like taking lysine and uh, oregano All of oil these things are being recommended. Antibacterial. It's natural. Yeah. But don't punish your yeah. doctor and don't go searching for antibiotics at the urgent care. Don't punish them if they don't give you an antibiotic. Isn't that funny? Because they want immediate, they want to get well immediately. And they think the answer is Americans have brainwashed themselves to think that the antibiotic is the answer to all illnesses and it absolutely is not it's making these superbugs mm -hmm. it's, it's making the superbugs and in fact by destroying your gut microflora what it's doing is yeah. it's causing more problems with autoimmune disease let's talk about the number of new antibiotics yeah. developed let's pull it back this up. is the other thing that yeah. is profoundly important this was how many antibiotics we had new drug um, uh, applications coming out on the market in the 1980s. This is 0, 5, 10. You know, we had 20 new drug applications, antibiotics coming out all the time, all the time. This is what it was in 2012. Yeah. We just do not have the new drugs that are coming online. Everybody thinks we're going to get another antibiotic to save us and that we'll get the next generation. Mm. But we are not. We, we, we have picked what we call the low hanging fruit. And so now we're not getting these next generation antibiotics like we used to all the time. So when we run, when they get resistant, we don't have anything to offer. What about, Marcy, the idea of getting the flu shots? I mean, you see in the drugstore, grocery stores, get your flu shot, get your flu shot. Do you think that really helps? Yes, so you, absolutely. And so you're saying children, adults, elderly, everybody across the board should get it. Anything you can do to prevent yeah. getting yourself compromised because getting your flu shot and what the flu does mm -hmm. is the flu is a virus, mm -hmm. okay? And what it does is it does, it immunocompromises you and then it allows these other superbugs to come attack you. It's yeah. two different illnesses that happen. Yeah. And so if you can prevent the first one, then you won't get the second one. Yeah. I like it, I like it. And remember, guy, the fastest way to put germs in your body Touch your eyes, rub your eyes with your finger. That's saying, or hey, jurors. No, but faster your eyes than your nose. Yeah, at least you got some defense <laughs> in your nose. But pick your nose is just disgusting. <laughs> and get your fingers out of your eyes. Use your knuckle if you have an itch or something. Unless, of course, you're a professional nose picker. I can do that. Is there a professional? Is that such a thing? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you know what? To close, an apple a day does help keep the doctor away. There's some research on that. <laughs> so do it. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>